Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Duchess. This is my channel, Duchess Divinity, and we do lots of stuff here, but today we're going to be doing a pick a card. So we're going to be doing a pick a card to see um, what blessings, good luck, good fortune, good news, anything good that's coming. Oh, this is my cat corn. For those of you who don't know, she just had to make an appearance. She always does. Um, but so we're just going to see what good things are coming your way and censor, just kidding. What good things are coming your way and, um, what to expect. So let's go ahead and get started with the pick a pile. So, um, the group one, you will be this little, this little spell jar. Oh, that did not help. That made it worse. All right, corn. We're going to need a little space though, please. Come on. She's being a diva today and refusing to eat her food. So she's just being a diva. So this is a spell jar for luck. Sorry you can't see it very well. The lighting is off. Okay. Spell jar for luck. Okay, I'm already not enjoying the chaotic energy of this. Corn is though because she is purring. Okay, so this is a spell jar for money. I did not make these. I got these at my local head shop. Um, and I thought it was cool that they had them there. And this is a baby jar for money. So we've got the big money jar and then group three is a little money jar. So group one is the spell for luck. Group two is the big money jar. And group three is the baby money jar. So you can go ahead and pick your group and I will see you there. Okay, I love you. Bye. Hi group one, this is for those of you who chose the spell jar for luck. So let's go ahead and see what things are coming for you. I'm just gonna start with a prayer. Benevolent guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, Yeshua, and God's source, I ask please that all the information that comes through in this reading is helpful, kind, palatable, and easy to understand. We ask that no truth be told for a lie and that no lie be told for a truth. I am simply a messenger for the divine, nothing more, nothing less. Amen, Rashi, Namaste. By the power of three, Samadhi, be always works, always a blessing. Okay, Spirit, what can you tell me? What blessings are coming for group one? What blessings, good luck, and good news are coming for group one? What do they have to look forward to? to pull these okay so group one what what you have to look forward to okay so you have created a new beginning for yourself it could be in money it could be um in your point of view something inside of you is changing it could be with another person it could be that you're moving but either way with the hierophant here you have recognized that you are the creator of your own reality and that your thoughts create the world that you see around you and um you have created a really good new beginning for yourself there's something that you're doing that you are not um Look at the fool. He has leaped off of this cliff. And it's like, I'm really getting that vibe that it's like, you go first. I have another deck of cards that says, you go first, the universe will catch you. So I feel like spirits, like, something you have to look forward to is if you take a risk um, in money, love, or, um, you know, just life. If you take a risk that's coming from a benevolent place, that's coming with good intentions, if you take this risk, you will be rewarded. The um, the spirits are saying, but also here with the Hierophant, they're saying that like you can fuck it up too with like your negative self-talk or like accidentally manifesting bullshit. So like if you have a lot of self-doubt and fear, what are you gonna see around you? A lot of self-doubt and fear. If you hold an open heart, 
and you um, trust, this is a lesson in trust and faith, right? This is a lesson in trust and faith. How much trust and faith do you have in yourself? How much trust and faith do you have in the divine? How much trust and faith do you have? And they just told me you've done something like this similarly in the past. So maybe it was like you were thinking about quitting your job and spirit was like in your ear, like, bitch, quit your job. And you were like, no, 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 no. And then you finally quit your job and you got the dream job that you've always been wanting. And you're making three times as much as you were making at the job that you didn't want to quit. You didn't really know where you were going, but you had faith and trust and um, it got you where you needed to be, you know? And so there's something in your life and that's just an example. So there's something that you did recently in the recent past within the last year that like you leapt before you looked because you had faith in the divine, you're gonna have another opportunity to leap before you look, but in order for it to pan out how you want it to, you must have faith in the divine. And they just said, and most importantly, you must have faith in yourself. Also, something that has given you trouble or someone who has given you trouble. So somebody could have been kind of speaking negatively about you or gossiping about you to other people or gossiping about you to your face. Like someone who I feel as though someone who you never thought you'd be able to, um, you know, reconcile with is going to come back and make some sort of offer of an apology. And this could be a really old friend or someone who you haven't spoken to in a really long time it could be a lover as well just somebody who you felt like you know this is never gonna work out I'm never gonna it's never gonna be how I want it to be this person is never gonna see my point of view they're never gonna grow up they're never gonna kick that addiction whatever it was that made you say like this person can't be a part of my life because they're not acting in a way that is appropriate for them to be a part of my life this person's gonna come back and show you not just tell you but show you that they're ready Need to be a part of your life now with some actual evidence and solid movement towards showing you that they have changed and that they're a better person and that they um you know that they've learned from their mistakes um i also think too that this could be so there could be a situation where like a group of people it could be the workplace it could be a friend group it could be like for me, when I was going to a dance studio, I thought all these people were my friends and then they turned out to be really mean and talking really bad about me and my friend behind our back and just treated us really horrifically. Like, but we had no idea. We were going to the dance studio every day, like being nice, like treating these people like our friends, giving them gifts, like sh like just being super nice. And it turned out the whole time they fucking hated us. <laughs> So there's something in your life too, it could be that like you have this group of friends, you have this extracurricular activity, you have this like co-workers, whatever it is, that you thought loved you and cared about you and then one day they're just like, yeah, we've never liked you and you're like, oh, okay. And this situation, you're being protected from something worse. So I ended up finding out that the the owner of the studio is, I can't really say because my lips are sealed, I have secret information, but that the owner of the studio is about to screw over every single girl who screwed over me and my friend. So I think you can see like the devilish look in my eye as I'm like, karma bitches. So, and the owner was a horrific, horrendous human being anyway. Um, so she'll get her karma too. But either way, they're about to get very screwed over in a lot of ways. And um, it's like you're over here and you're like, glad I got out of that. Glad I got out of that before the shit hit the fan. Glad I wasn't a part of that karma. Glad I, I slow and steady ran the race and I trusted that everything was going to be okay. So that could be other good news that you're getting. The good news that you're getting could be that you're not involved in a very bad situation that you, spirit removed you from. Okay, so that's some good luck. You're going to get to rest and relax. 
You're going to get some really good sleep. If you haven't been sleeping well, you're gonna get some really good sleep. You're gonna start having more prophetic dreams. You're gonna be doing some more dream walking. And also you could be having a lot of astral communication and connection with spirits, passed on loved ones, interdimensional creatures, star family, um, even lovers or friends in the physical realm. Like say you're at a distance with a friend, they might just start showing up in your dreams like, hey girl, we can hang out here, you know what I'm saying? So. So you're going to have a lot more astral options I just heard you could start lucid dreaming um, and astral projecting but either way you're actually gonna get some really good rest and you're gonna get some good downtime and spirit just said you are not gonna know how to handle this downtime because we do have the hermit here so you're gonna get some alone time so especially if you're a parent or you live in a home with a lot of other people, you're gonna get some really good alone time coming up here and it's going to be much needed. I heard it's going to be either on the new moon or the full moon. You're gonna get the time that you need to yourself and this is gonna help you to do some spell work or meditation or ritual for yourself, which is then going to help you to manifest your dreams. I just saw 1101. So this is going to help you to manifest your dreams. Uh, oh, something could be coming November 1st as well. I just saw 1111 when I said that on my timestamp. So keep that date in mind. And I just heard that song, keep me in mind. Someone might be coming back. I hate to give timelines and dates because the timelines are forever shifting since like we've stepped into this apocalyptic phase in reality. But just keep it in mind, right? And keep whoever you think, whoever the first person that came to your mind was, keep them in mind. Because that could very well be the person that has changed. Um, but you're going to get some really good rest and alone time. Also, you're going to possibly get a new pet or get closer with the pet that you have and do some spiritual work and shielding and grounding and protection with your pet. Also, you're going to be celebrating. You could be going to a festival. You could be going to a wedding. You could be going to a party. You could be having a party, a wedding, or a festival, but there's some sort of celebration coming through. Also, if you are on a twin flame journey, this is a positive omen, the 1111, four of wands union. Union could be on its way, or you could have leveled up in this journey. You could be on to the next cycle in this journey. Either way, you're going to have some sort of positive situation as far as your twin flame journey goes and um yeah you're gonna be doing something fun you're gonna be going out and partying and having a good time and I just heard spending a lot of good time with like friends and family so that's really great I need to get chapstick after this reading um okay so what other blessings are coming for group one okay yep so you are leveling out of a very tumultuous time period so i can relate i've been super rageful and unhappy these recent weeks and i think i'm feeling a lot of the collective energy but i took a vacation for myself i took time for myself and i'm feeling way better now so i feel like after you get that rest and relaxation and alone time that's when you expand out of this um defensive and combative energy that you might have been stuck in or falling into or working to get out of for a long time you're about to ascend out of some pattern that you've been living in and that pattern has to do with negative talk so either it's like negative self-talk or like negative feelings about other people extreme anger rage depression anxiety whatever negative energy that you've been stuck in for a while this the blessing is going to be that you come out of it with grace and dignity i just heard grace and dignity so what can group one look forward to in romance please flirting and um spending some really good time with friends and possibly meeting someone through your friend group so we have flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others and then we also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so i feel like maybe you're at that festival with your friends you're at that show you're at that wedding and your friends like hey that guy over there that really hot guy over there or hot girl or whoever that really hot human over there has been eyeing you all night you fin you you want me to be your wingman and you're like yes bitch i'm looking to flirt go ahead and be my wingman 
So you're going to have some sort of opportunity that your friends are going to present to you to kind of have fun and flirt and date and like be goofy. And I feel like you're going to be going on dates. I just heard three. You could go on three dates in the short in this short period of time. So I got charms. I'm a charming little bitch now. So um, yes, let's pull some charms. What blessings does group one have to look forward to? Okay, so we got VIP. So I feel like somebody or people in your life are just gonna make you feel really special. They're going to tell you how much they appreciate you. People are gonna show you how much they appreciate you. You're gonna be getting little gifts or little texts like, hey, I love you, I just hope you're well, kind of thing. Like you're going to be feeling, I just heard you're going to be very like popular too. Like it's gonna be like, I'm sorry, like I just don't have any time for anyone because I'm just so popular. <laughs> Oh, I thought it fell, but it landed in my hair because <laughs> it's like sticky. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so it's like, um, yeah, you're just going to be really a hot topic. People are going to want to spend time with you. People are going to want to be around you. And then we also have with you, with you. So, okay. I do feel like someone in your life could be realizing that they only want to be with you or like I was saying multiple people are realizing that they want to be with you and this could be friends family and lovers but people just want to spend time with you they want to talk with you they want to connect with you you're going to be making a lot of new connections and it's going to be really positive for you you're going to get to do something really nice outside it's going to make you really happy here with this happy little face um I'm really sorry about the lighting, guys. It's just, it's really overcast here. This little charmy. There it is. Stop with the lighting. The lighting's making me very mad. <laughs> um, so you're gonna be able to do something that makes you really happy outside. And maybe it's a festival cause like shit's been closed down for so long. Um, and also if you've been having, oh, I'm sorry, a sneeze is coming. <laughs> your third eye is going to be clearing out because I always consider a sneeze the third eye clearing out and also if you've been having problems with your diet here with this little ice cream I feel like it's going to sort itself out so if you've been having gut issues or you've been having certain problems and if you've been trying to figure out what's making you feel sick in your diet like you're finally going to figure it out and also like people are just going to be really sweet to you people are just going to treat you really sweetly You're just going to be feeling super special and loved. So we have this really cute little hat and I just love it. It looks so cute and I love everything about it. I love that it's like round and adorable. And then we also have these little heart sunglasses. So I feel like people are going to be seeing you through the eyes of love. But I also think you're going to be seeing yourself through the eyes of love. And anything that you really needed to heal that you didn't like about yourself, you're going to start really loving that. And you're going to start really connecting with the inner child. And, um, you know, giving yourself what you need and really understanding what you need on a different level than you ever have been able to. So yeah, that's your reading. I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you to my guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, uh, Yeshua and God source for allowing me to be the channel through which these messages flow. We thank you for the truth and we thank you for the advice. I'm in Rashi and Namaste by the power of three. So let it be always works, always a blessing. All right. Thank you, group one. I really hope you enjoyed that. I love you very, very, very much. Like if you enjoyed it, comment if you have something to say, subscribe if you feel like it and share if you feel like it's worth sharing. I love you. I hope I'll see you again sometime. Bye. Hi, group two. This is for those of you who chose this little money, well, the big money jar. It's little compared to me, but it's big compared to the baby one. So this is for those of you who chose the big money jar. Okay, I'm just going to start with a prayer. Benevolent guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, Yeshua, and God's source, I ask please that all the information that comes through is palatable, kind, and easy to understand for group two. I ask please that it is all for the highest and greatest good of my clients, the highest and greatest good of humanity, and the highest and greatest good of this universe. I ask that no truth be told for a lie and that no lie be told for a truth. I am simply a vessel I'm simply a vessel for the divine, nothing more and nothing less. 
Amen Rashi Namaste by the power of three. So motive be always works, so always a blessing. All right, whoa, I just got like high from that prayer. All right, Spirit, can you tell me what blessings are coming for group two? What blessings are coming for group two? Okay. Group two. So the first card that went flying out when I asked what blessings were coming, we have the two of wands here. And in this deck, the two of wands is like a kind man holding onto a nice woman and passing her the world. <laughs> and so for me, this is saying to me that your blessing is that you're going to be able to open up and be yourself with someone who in the past you felt like you had to pretend like you couldn't be who you truly are with or you were so nervous around them that the way you acted didn't translate well it came off as like inauthentic when in reality you were just really nervous i do feel like this is romantic given the situation of him having her hand on her his hand on her elbow but at the same time, um, this could definitely be a family member or a friend who you had some sort of disagreement or misunderstanding with. And it's like, I don't know, but like, this is very specific. This is not for everyone. But for some people out there, there is either like a trans or gay situation happening where like you were not accepted for that. Or it could even be your political beliefs. Um, there was something about your spiritual beliefs. You could have been ostracized by your family if they have different religious or spiritual beliefs than you. Um, for some people, it's that. Like, for some people, you were just being yourself. And the people that you loved didn't want to accept you for being yourself. And then there's this other group of people that it was like, you were so nervous. You didn't know how to act right. So... <laughs> like I said, you came off as inauthentic or dishonest when in reality you were just incredibly nervous and trying not to mess things up. So then you definitely messed things up. I just saw 338. So that could be a connection for some of you. Um, but I just heard rest assured all as well. So the blessing that you have coming towards you is that is forgiveness this person's gonna forgive you and give you another chance or vice versa you're going to forgive them and give them another chance and it's going to be a genuine true authentic chance this time i feel as though it's built on an actual stable and strong foundation it could be pretty slow moving but that's positive because when things move too fast is when they get confusing right um or messy um, but I do see that a loved one or a lover will be returning to you, accepting your apology or offering you an apology, and there will be a new start that comes from that. Um, as you can see, there's the two at the top that looks like an 11, so, and also these wands look like an 11, so take it as it resonates. That could be for twin flames. Um, also group two, something that you have to look forward to is really good rest and relaxation. I feel like you're going to be getting some really good downtime. You could be, um, taking a vacation or just since it's the four of swords, it could just be like taking a vacation in your mind. Um, also with the swords here though, it could be traveling. You could be traveling to go somewhere. I also feel like you, you're going to have some sort of spiritual epiphany or like epiphany about who you are and what you believe. So like, yeah, like you could have been feeling confused or lost or, or couldn't really figure out who you are or what you need. And all of a sudden it's just going to click. It's like you're going to be relaxing and, and just taking time for yourself and being hermit mode. And all of a sudden you're just going to realize like, oh, this is my belief system. I believe it from the bottom of my heart. I have this like divine knowing 
about this book. So my ear just felt weird. So you could be having ringing in your ears or popping in your ears too. This is a sign of like spiritual downloads. So the hermit, um, it's like you're going to take the much needed time that you need. Five, five, five. Saw it on the screen. Away from yourself to take care of yourself. And during that time that you're, I just heard a hiatus. During the time that you're kind of taking this hiatus, you realize what it is that you need and what it is that you believe in and what it is that you want to put your energy towards, whether it's people, places, things, or money. You know, there's certain things that you, like, perhaps you found out that your favorite um, business is in the market of child labor. You know what I mean? Like, just a regular fucking Tuesday with how things are these days with big business and big farming. But maybe they were lying. Maybe they were they were saying they were really good to their workers and then all of a sudden all these whistleblowers come out and they're like, this is the worst company ever. And you're like, oh, I don't think I really wanna spend my money on that anymore. Or, you know, a person that you really loved, that you thought loved you too, they show you that they don't actually have your best interest in mind and now you're like, I don't really wanna put my energy in that either. So I'm feeling like that was more what was going on in the past, like in these past, the past three weeks and three weeks from now, from whenever you're watching it, but you're moving out of that. And ultimately, because you can see he has the snake and the wolf, ultimately, this is for your protection. So getting out sooner rather than later from a situation that could have gotten really fucked up. This is similar to group one, not the same, but similar. But, um, yeah, and so you're kind of taking the time to relax, and, or perhaps it's the stock market. This is a really good example. Perhaps you see your stocks falling and falling and falling, and then you remove yourself from it, and then you find out in, like, three days, like, the stock market crashed, and you were able to save all your money before it crashed. Like, that's so, that's the energy I'm getting from, like, this lucky, this lucky thing this lucky thing that is coming for you. Um, it might have felt like a curse or a spiritual attack when in reality, rejection is protection, right? Rejection is protection. Um, also, you're going to be see like your manifestation skills are gonna slap really, really hard, especially in Libra season, because Libra season is right around the corner. Venus is in Libra right now. This is not a time sensitive reading, but um, if you are watching it when it first came out, yes, Libra season's right around the corner and Venus is in Libra, and I feel like you've been manifesting and manifesting, and your manifest manifestation skills are about to slap you across the face. You're about to get exactly what you wanted in the exact time that you wanted it, exactly how you wanted it. And this is going to be a pivotal moment for you because you're going to realize just how powerful you are. You're going to realize that you are not a victim, you are the creator of your own reality, and as within, so without. When something is going on within you is when everything's falling apart around you, right? So once you get this good hermit time, once you remove the toxic energies that are around you that you no longer want to pour your energy into, this is when your manifestations hit you and they hit you really hard and they show you exactly what you're made of. Okay, I just heard the eye of the tiger in my head. So it's like, this is gonna completely change your, your view of the world. Um, when you get this, it's some sort of big manifestation that you've been working on very specifically and in a very, it for a long time for some of you, or in a very specific way. And you're going to get it exactly how you wanted it. And you're gonna be like, oh shit, I'm a witch, you know? Also, I do feel like you, if you are not in a partnership with someone, someone is coming to lock you down because you can see that that sword is downward. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. So I do see some, for some of you, I do see someone coming in to lock in a, um, a romantic, um, to lock in a romantic, what's it, what's it called? Commitment, commitment with you. Um, and this is a very stable, grounded and healthy romantic commitment and it will be very 
prosperous and good for you to allow this to happen if it's what you want okay it could be this person over here that's coming back in with forgiveness and authenticity um but i do see that i also see you letting go of limiting beliefs around what it is that you have to offer i feel like your whole life you could have been put down or like undervalued or um, taken for granted or just like underestimated. I don't know about you, but nothing makes me work harder than being underestimated by the people around me. So I feel like people have been sleeping on you and you're just like, you're getting to this point where you're sh shedding the old beliefs that like you don't deserve good things or that you're not, you know, as worthy as you truly are and you're really letting those go and you're taking off the blinders and you're taking off the chains of the past and you're letting go of the trauma and the pain and like you're pushing forward and you're standing in these beliefs because we do have the bull here and you, you know you're not you're not going to let people sway you once you change your mind and realize your worth you're not going to come out of that anymore like of course you'll get triggered and everything but it's not going to be like every day you're questioning your worth or questioning like if you're good enough you know what i'm saying and then here with the six of wands it's like you're finally going to get the recognition that you've been wanting if you have a social media platform you might pick up a bunch of followers or subscribers or you might just finally be getting like the recognition that you know you deserve from like friends and family who like are seeing you win or seeing you do good and they're like wow it's amazing or like perhaps your partner was never interested in what you did for work and now it's like all of a sudden they're like wow like you're really good at this or like your boss like people are just going to be taking recognition of what an incredible soul you are and how you should be protected and loved and that you're very precious people are I just keep hearing that word precious people are just going to start realizing just how precious you are and this is going to be a huge blessing for you the people that you want to see you that haven't seen you in the past and that could be going back to what I was saying about people refusing to acknowledge certain parts of you or saying that they're bad like if you're gay straight whatever I don't know um have different political beliefs different religious beliefs it's like people are going to be like wait none of that matters you're precious or like the person that you like got off on the wrong foot on because you were too nervous around them they're going to be like none of that matters because you're fucking precious to me you know cool okay so what else you can look forward to is like there have been some serious restraints from the past that you are releasing and in releasing these traumas and pains and restraints that have been placed on you i did just hear sexual assault so for some of you you could be still working through a sexual assault um from the past or a very recent one that you're really trying to work through be very gentle and kind with yourself um no matter when it was it still affects you um but uh, even if it was fucking 15 years ago and you have no memory of it, that's still living in your DNA. So it's very important to be kind to yourself. But as you are releasing and letting go of this trauma, pain, and turmoil, um, that's when you're given another chance. So maybe that's when this person comes through and gives you another chance. Or maybe that's when you decide to give someone else another chance in forgiveness because they've proven themselves to you. But either way, you, the gift that you're being given is letting go of restrictions, limitations, and negativity that has been destroying your relationships. And because of that, you're able to start anew, um, with someone or something in your life. So what is the romantic advice, please, for group two? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so Spirit's saying that if there's someone you've been waiting for, if they came back now, you would not be paying attention to the red flags and then they would end up hurting you again or you wouldn't be able to set boundaries with them or they wouldn't be able to set boundaries with you. Also, with pay attention to, that's for some of you, for others of you, pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Something might not be in your physical realm right now because physically, as far as time goes, you have not caught up to where you can see the future timeline, right? So just because it's not here right now in the physical realm doesn't mean it hasn't manifested yet, which goes back to what we were saying here, that like one of your manifestations is coming true that's going to make you go 
damn, I'm a powerful bitch. So, but Spirit is saying it is worth waiting for. I just heard, please be patient with us. It's a fucking divine timing thing. So please be patient with us, okay? So that's really cool. And I have charms now. So let's see what charms for group two. So your body could be changing this month, you could be losing some weight or gaining some weight depending on how you feel best, but I do think, because we got the pear, I think the pear shaped body. So okay, so they just said it's time to clean up your diet a little bit if you've been getting a little crazy and like eating things that you know are not good for you or that make you feel sick, Spirit's saying just do a little cleaning up of your diet, it would be very beneficial to you. And then also they're saying you're going to see your body shift in ways that you actually really like right now. So you could be getting stronger, you could be getting thinner, you could be getting thicker, whatever you like. But some blessing is coming through where all of a sudden you're going to have a shift. Or if you have a lot of pain, if you have a lot of body, physical body issues, you're going to see a really positive shift in your body for the better. So that's really cool. Um, we do have this police card and we do have the justice card here. So something that you've been worrying about, you will get justice on. Um, or if you've been going to court for something, you will get justice on it. But either way, if you've been worried about anything, people, places, or things in your life where you feel like you were wronged, you will be righted. Things will go, things will be taking, spirits going to take care of it. Um... <laughs> With this monkey, he's like got cross eyes and swirly ears and I feel like you're going to be getting a lot more psychic and just feeling a little bit more crazy, but it's going to be really fun. It's almost going to be like you're on a permanent like psychedelic trip and you're going to be like, I feel so crazy, but it's going to feel really good. And also, if like I was saying about your body, you're getting stronger, you might be able to like, let's say you're a rock climber. Maybe you weren't able to like scale this rock wall for a long time, so you just didn't have the skills. Suddenly you're able, cause like monkeys climb, right? So like suddenly you're able to like scale this wall and you're like, yes. So, or like with me, I'm a pole dancer. Like whenever I get a new trick, I'm like, yes. So it's gonna be something like that where you're like, I'm just leveling up and I feel crazy, but it feels good. <laughs> I just heard push it, push it to the limit, limit. So you're gonna be pushing yourself, but it's gonna be good. And then we have this fish. So I do feel like some of you could be going on vacation. Um, I just heard you're swimming through someone's thoughts and dreams. So take that as it resonates. And also, um, it would be really good for you to get out by the water um, to do some healing in the water, around the water, and with water. And they just said drink more water. Okay, so here with this little happy flower, Spirit is really wanting you to, okay, they want you to get yourself some flowers and also sing to your flowers and talk to your plants. Um, but happy things that are coming your way, you're gonna be doing something really fun outside that makes you really, really happy. And you're just gonna be spending some good time with people that you love in an in a na place in nature that fills your heart with joy. So that's gonna be really special for you. That's what's coming. And I just heard It's Good to Be King by um, Tom Petty. And you can see this little loopy guy, the cross-eyed. Both the cross-eyed, okay. Um, I just heard where I was blind, I can now see. So like if spirit had been blocking stuff from you or like, you know, sometimes spirit wants us to be surprised, but I gotta stop slouching. Sometimes spirit wants us to be surprised, so they, they, they withhold certain information from us or they don't give us the full picture. And it's like all of a sudden the full picture is going to be coming into view and you're going to be like, the, what? Also, because he's got a crown on, I feel like someone's going to be treating you really, really well. Someone's going to be treating you like a queen or a king everything in between also sparkle this guy is sparkly and i feel like someone is just going to be like so taken by you so in love with you it could definitely be this person that's just like very taken by you and in love because right because like if you weren't able to be yourself now that you're being yourself they're like oh my god i'm in love and i feel like i'm going crazy so yeah 
That's all I have for your group too. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you to my guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, Yeshua, and God source for allowing me to be the channel through which these messages flow. We thank you for the truth and we thank you for the advice. I'm in Rosh and Namaste by the power of three. So motive you always works, always a blessing. Like if you enjoyed it. Comment if you have something to say. Subscribe if you feel like it. Share if you feel like it's worth sharing. I love you. And I hope to see you again sometime. Bye group two. Hi, this is for all of those of you who chose group three, the baby money spell jar. So let's get into it. Start with a prayer. Benevolent guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, Yeshua, and God's source. I ask please that all the information that comes through for group three is for their highest and greatest good, the highest and greatest good of humanity, and the highest and greatest good of this universe. I ask please that no truth be told for a lie and that no lie be told for a truth. I am simply a vessel of the divine. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm in Rashi Namaste by the power of three so be always works with a blessing. All right, group three, let me tell you your blessings. Okay. Spirit, what blessings are coming for group three? What blessings are coming for group three? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like there's been something within you, some sort of trauma, some sort of pain that you've been really looking at deeply and you've been examining. And um, in doing this shadow work, in doing this work towards, it almost feels like it's been like a mini dark night of the soul where like shit's just been left instead of right and like shit doesn't make sense. But it's all forcing you to look within. Someone could have left you or you could have been fired from a job or like um, shunned by someone or something in your life. And um, because of that, it really forced you to look within or someone was acting in a way that you just really didn't like and it made, it triggered you and you were like, wait, why did I get so triggered? And then you had to actually examine, you know, why am I upset? What am I feeling right now? Where does this stem from? And Spirit's saying you will be rewarded with healing your, um, I just heard quick temper as well as, um, emotional unavailability so like here with the knight of wands like he comes in quick but he doesn't have any plan and so i feel like you've been feeling really scatterbrained not really knowing what you need or what you want and what you have to look forward to is all the shadow work that you've been doing all the looking within all of all of this is going to result in healing a really deep wound um around communication that uh has been in you since you were a child um and then here with the eight of wands you're going to be rewarded with positive communication about something that had you tripping so here with the three of swords something that had you really upset something that had you really in your head something that had you feeling really pessimistic or hurt um excuse me you're going to be rewarded with um you're going to be rewarded with communication that is going to clear up this energy and you will no longer feel so frustrated or hurt or in pain. Someone's gonna give you the answer that you've been looking for or the honesty that you've been looking for. So let's say you knew somebody did something shitty and they just weren't telling you. It's like they're finally gonna tell you, like I did that shitty thing and you're like, cool, we can get along again because like you're honest with me. Or for some of you, somebody might not be sharing their feelings with you they could have really strong feelings for you but like it's never been said out loud and it's finally gonna be said out loud um I feel like something that you've been really stressed out about 
you're going to like just stop caring so much about it not in a bad way you're going to go into a divine neutral state about something you're gonna let it go because you can see the hawk flying in the background and perhaps hawk is a totem animal for you i just heard you're going to be stopping and smelling the roses more here with her looking at the butterfly and you're going to be taking on a different kind of gentle and nurturing role that you have never really taken on the queen of swords is often seen as very cold and unfeeling but to me in this deck it's more that she's just logical and neutral and i feel like you'll be healing some parts of yourself that have maybe not accepted your logical and neutral energy and behavior as okay so a lot of times those of us who are not very emotional or not very, i can't relate <laughs> but people like that are considered not nice they're considered assholes they're considered rude they're considered cold when in reality they're just neutral and it's like you're going to be coming to this realization that it's okay for you to just be yourself and actually this is going to soften you up there's going to be multiple situations over the next month that are going to soften you up and you're going to start to feel a little bit more deeply and differently than you've ever really felt in your life um, and it's going to be very beneficial for you and very healing especially for your inner child here with the four of wands you are going to be celebrating in some way I do, if this is a twin flame reading for you, this could be um, your sign. Uh, if you are in a twin flame relationship, I should say, this could definitely be a sign here with the 1111, the four of wands. Um, also, if you're building something, like if you're building a business or you're building a connection or you're building a future, whatever you're building in your future, you already have it. And there's going to be some sort of sign or synchronicity that falls deeply, like perhaps you've been trying to get land and no matter what, all the land you keep trying like falls through. You're going to find this piece that's perfect for you and like maybe you get accepted for that loan and now you can buy the land. You know what I mean? And then it's like you build from there. So it's like something that you've been really wanting to build. You're going to have an opportunity to start to lay the foundations and lay the roots to this thing that you're trying to build and it's going to be really exciting and it's going to be a huge relief as well because um part of you was doubting your ability to manifest it or have what you want to think that you're good enough to have the things that you want right um and then here with the knight of swords the queen of wands and the world i feel like you've been a little off <laughs> Like, look at that horse. He's like, help! I feel like you've been off and frustrated and annoyed and pissed off, but then happy, but then sad. And like, maybe you're feeling all these things and it's like this really big breakthrough from as a result of the shadow work and of looking within. I also just heard that you've done two spells on yourself for like healing or growth. And two, like those two spells that you've done on yourself, they kind of instant like they kind of started the shit storm of healing that you weren't expecting to do and spirits like it's all for the highest and greatest good i just heard to like buckle up buckle up in a good way because like the next three months is about to be a whirlwind for you then the rest of the year is gonna mo move really fast and the, the shit that happens you're it's gonna blow your mind um, but you're going to find a much better way of communicating. And I also think you're going to let go of the habit of just cutting people out of your life so because you're going to realize there are a few people that you just really don't want to get rid of. Also, I'm going to count how many birds because they just told me to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Breaking down to a 6, 15 breaking down to a 6 is a sign of physical, of your manifestations coming into the physical realm. So I feel as though you're going, and look, this this horse has the butterflies on his reins. You could be even getting a horse for some of you, and I just saw 828, so that might mean something to some of you. Some of you could be getting a horse, um, but this is actually going to calm your temper and your rage and your anger a lot, having this horse. And for those of you who it's not a horse, you be getting a new animal or spending time with animals. Um, but... 
There are four butterflies and four birds on this, so that could mean something to you as well. And his shield almost looks like a heart. So I feel like you could have always just been protecting your heart and now you're realizing that like that's not the way you do it by like just hurting other people who hurt you. Like of course it's appropriate to cut people out of your lives when they're toxic, but not everybody needs to be fucking cut off is what you're realizing. And you're learning how to balance that while also standing in your power here with the Queen of Wands because I think to you, like, you don't want people to confuse your kindness for weakness, so you've always kind of just been a bitch or an asshole to, like, make it so people didn't take advantage of you, but you're starting to recognize that you can be soft and loving and still be powerful and um and that you can be soft and loving with yourself because i'm getting very strongly the energy that it's like um you know you were not babied you were there's like that saying like beat not babied it's a thing around where i live and maybe that's what you're coming out of now realizing that you don't have to always have your guard up you don't always have to be looking for a fight you don't always have to be cutting people out you can be loving and powerful and set really strong boundaries without being an asshole and the blessing is that you're ending this cycle it's been a really long cycle like i said since you were a child i just heard it's the way you learned how to survive in the environment you were born into so there's absolutely nothing wrong with that dude like you're literally just out here trying to live but now you do not need those same survival techniques that you needed in the past so you can go ahead and let that go spirits like that's your that's your gift that's coming spirits allowing you to let that go to give it to give it to source and move forward freely um what blessings okay um, you're stepping out of fear of the unknown. Also, Hakate, I'm strongly feeling that Hakate might be working with you right now, especially if you've been seeing owls. But you're letting go of fear of the unknown, and you're also really balancing your light and your dark, because she's literally the illumination, and then she's the darkness. And so you're you're really balancing out the light and the dark better and more well, and you're also just like... um you're just being more of yourself and recognizing more of your own light because I feel like you could have a hard time like I was saying you have a hard time expressing your nature like you have a hard time expressing your feminine nature your feminine energy doesn't matter your gender your feminine energy and the light the love the nurturing in you and you're learning how to balance that you're also learning how to not take things so seriously here with the play card and i do also see that you're going to be rewarded with some sort of like really fun adventure or homecoming or vacation or a friend like taking you out for a fun day something you're going to be rewarded with something that really speaks to your inner child and speaks to your soul and makes you feel alive makes you feel loved um and then what to look forward to in love Ooh, cool so your love life is directly related to your finances and career um so that's interesting you could be building a company with your partner or you could just be looking to like i said you're trying to build here so you could be looking to build um with your partner but either way your partner is connected to what it is that you do for a living so maybe you'll have a business together maybe um they will be like the bookkeeper and you're out there doing it or vice versa whatever finances are connected to this relationship and i do think you're going to be rewarded with some extra cash um in the near future or another opportunity to make extra cash um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You're going to be rewarded with the ability to keep an open mind around this connection with your person because they are not always going to show up exactly how you want them to, especially if they've been trying to read your mind because I do see that communication was an issue um, in your life in general. So you're going to be able to be a lot more forgiving with this person and take out a lot less of your own shadow and shortcomings on them like they're going to be mirroring you a lot less like, they're still going to be mirroring you it's just not going to be triggering you're going to be like oh yeah sorry i didn't mean to snap at you like that you know what i mean and i have charms prepare to be charmed by me 
whoa, you have like a hundred. Um, okay, so right here with this little excavator, the building, building with your partner, building the strong foundations, building what, I feel like you're building something. Comment if you're building a house or something. And then here with the car, I do see like travel in your future. So somebody could be traveling towards you or you could be traveling towards somebody else. But perhaps this is the really fun thing that you're doing. Maybe it's a road trip. Maybe you're taking a road trip with your friend and it's gonna be really fun. Um, you're going to feel whole and full for the first time in a long time here with this drink. It's like your cup is filled and you feel different now. And that's going to be really good for you too. Um, and then we have the little orange and the, so orange to me is about abundance. So I feel like that's directly related to your money situation improving. And then also we do have the little strawberry here. The strawberry has five notches on it. So big change is coming. But I do feel like you're going to be seeing the world through just sweeter eyes. Like you're going to have a sweeter, more nurturing perspective on the world. Um, and then we have these two Christmas charms. So something's coming in Christmas. Expect something really exciting and really happy and lucky to happen during Christmas. So that's all I have for you. I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you to my guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, star family, higher self, Yeshua, and God source for allowing me to be the channel through which these messages flow. We thank you for the truth and we thank you for the advice. I'm Ramon Shane Namaste. By the power of three, smote of faith. Always works, always a blessing. Um, like if you enjoyed. Comment if you have something to say. Subscribe if you feel like it. Share if you feel like it's worth sharing. I love you so much. I hope to see you here again sometime. Enjoy your blessings and good luck for the future. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Ooh.